question of why is it this way. Here, this is, you know, are they healthier? Are, you know, are we healthier? We spend all this money, doesn't it make us healthier? Well, we're the least healthy country among these, all these 19 other countries. Uh, this is an interesting, interesting, unique graph. It comes from uh, 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 the Commonwealth Fund, which is a charitable uh, research fund in New York City. Uh, but they do international studies, and they look at what's called amenable mortality, which is kind of a peculiar phrase. But what it means is, <coughs> uh, well, let me step back a minute, give you a little lesson in public health. Uh, most of the improvement in health, if you, I te used to teach public health, and if you look at the improvement in health of people, the extended life expectancy of people over the last 100 years, the major reason for that is not because people got better medical care. The major reason for that is because they got clean water and, and you know, air, less air pollution. That is public health measures that improve the environment that people live in. <coughs> so if you want to find out what the effect of medical care is, you have to look at conditions that where people die uh, uh, that medical care could actually do something about that can improve their, their chance of living. And so it's things like heart disease, hypertension, diabetes, stroke, things that medical care, modern medical care, can actually improve your life expectancy. So, you know, you have a heart, I had a heart attack nine years ago now. You know, I still walk around and, you know, I would have died 50 years ago. But modern medical care makes it possible to actually keep living. So if you look at just those conditions, this is the, the death per 100,000 population for just those conditions, and the United States here is 19th. We are not, we are sicker and we spend more. We are getting our money's worth if you want to look at it as a business proposition. So the question is why, what do they know we, that we don't know? And what they know is that healthcare is not a market phenomenon. Healthcare is not something where you set up a system where the, the seller charges whatever price he wants to, he or she wants to charge, and the, the customer, you know, bargains with the price. If he doesn't like the price, he goes next door. It's not like buying a TV. It's not like buying a car. Uh, when people are sick, they're in no position to bargain, for one thing. Medical care is too expensive. You can never know what it's going to cost anyway. Uh, so what they understand and do is they have government playing a central role in their <coughs> in the way they pay for their health care. Sometimes it pays for it. Sometimes the government pays for it, like in Canada or Mexico, on both of our borders. The government pays for health care out of taxes. Uh, in uh, France and Germany, the government doesn't pay for it. It's actually paid for through non, basically nonprofit uh, insurance funds. But the government sets the, the fees. The government, by negotiating with the doctors, society, and with the, and thank you. <laughs> thank you. Somebody knows about health care. <laughs> you have a nurse right there? <laughs> Uh, so I have a question. Yes. 